Good morning. Good morning. The first lesson is from the Old Testament, Isaiah, chapter 6, verses 1 through 8. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on the throne, high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him. Each had six wings. With two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The pivots on the threshold shook at the voices of those who called, and the house filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, I am lost. For I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been touched from the altar with a pair of thongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed, and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go with us? And I said, Here I am, send me. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Psalm 29, we will respond by whole verse. I will read the odd numbers, you will read the even. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The word breaks the cedars of Lebanon. The voice of the Lord splits the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. And in the temple of the Lord, all are crying, glory. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. The Epistle from Romans, chapter 8, verses 12 through 17. So then, brothers and sisters, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live accordingly to the flesh. For if you live accordingly to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very Spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If in fact we suffer with him so that we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Amen. 